Flying around the world may be a dream for many, but it has its challenges and hurdles, something to which American Robert De Laurentiis can attest. In the first two months of his planned three-month journey, De Laurentiis faced unpredictable weather, technical malfunction and other issues. It's been much more than what I expected. Um, much more challenging. I've flown in Europe before, but once I got beyond Europe, um, things were very different. <laughs> Um, and it's also been much more rewarding than I expected. I've been welcomed in almost every place that I've been with a um, great amount of kindness and generosity and blessings. He said people such as the members of EAA Malaysia Flying Club had been generous with their time and resources. You know, there's also people donating uh, their time and assistance, like EAA Malaysia has been very generous, um, helping me arrange um, accommodations, maintenance on the plane, uh, they've been doing the handling, so helping me get through the airport, you know, customs forms, immigration, uh, manifests, all kinds of things. De Laurentiis arrived in Malaysia on July 7th and left for his next stop, Jakarta, yesterday. He will continue his journey to other countries including Australia, Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands before completing the longest and hardest leg of his travel, from Honolulu to San Diego next month. The 49-year-old landowner keeps his blog, flyingthroughlife.com, and other social media accounts updated with the latest on his adventures and the cause he supports. Those who wish to support the cause can obtain more information on his blog.